Welcome to your Daily Five for Wednesday, October 16th, 2024. There were a pair of news stories that came out last week, and I couldn't put together why I, in my brain, I kept kind of tying them together. Actually, I shouldn't say that. One was a rumored leak, I guess, about backstage stuff going on or background stuff going on with the newly released Uzumaki anime over on Adult Swim. And the other was an opinion piece on Aftermath in reaction to the cancellation of the Netflix series Chaos after just over a month or so, maybe a month and two weeks. And the, those two things kept kind of coming up in my head, and I couldn't figure out why, because they didn't seem inherently related. And then it occurred to me that, because the title of the Aftermath piece is Just Give Me One Damn Second Netflix, in reference to the fact that not everybody can jump on a series as soon as it comes out, and that Netflix canceling something with so little time for people to actually discover it and see if it's any good is a byproduct of a problem with having too much content to try to wade through. And then I started thinking about the Uzumaki anime, which had a really stellar looking first episode. And then the second episode came out and there was a pretty noticeable to some people. I didn't think it was that big a deal, but some people got really, really upset by the drop in quality, which has been attributed to apparently something happened with the series where some key figure or company dropped out in the production of it. And there was a decision point to either just cancel it all together or to release it as is, including quality that was below the standard they were aiming for. And I thought, you know what? I will take a under the quality we want complete series that was made, finished, and released over the best looking Netflix thing that has $10 million behind it because you don't have no faith at this point that they will actually stick to it. That is how bad it is that I am happier that Uzumaki exists in a flawed state completed than something that by the technical merits on Netflix may have had one good season and then just gets killed off before anybody can even really decide if it's worth continuing with. This is the big problem here. This is a byproduct. I've complained about this a lot, so I know this is basically beating a dead horse for some people. Yes, I'm sad. This is my same complaint. I was asked, actually... On Heartbeat Heroes radio show, I was asked, and I can't remember what the series, oh, the Penguin series. I was asked if I had seen the new Penguin series uh, from the Batman character that's on Max. And my reply to that was, I'm not starting it until I know it actually finishes, which is what I have been saying for quite a while now. And this is yet another example of this stupidity in how series are now generated. I have no real faith that the Penguin series will get to be completed. I don't care the fact that I've read good reviews, I've heard good things from people, it seems to be generally well-received. Do I have any percentage of faith that that series is going to get completed? Absolutely not. I have even seen articles saying Amazon might not go the full five seasons with Rings of Power, which I went on and on about the fact that they would have to because they publicly committed to it. But you know what? I was the moron in saying that because there really is no guarantee. Although I still think that that's a relatively sure thing unless they have a third season that is absolutely dismal and just gets destroyed and has no views. I do think because of the money and all the publicity that just from a public relations standpoint, they will complete that in some form. But even that, I agree, is not a sure thing. Not as sure as I I was saying it was. I still do think it's relatively secure. But you know what? I shouldn't make that assumption. I really shouldn't. So like I said, as much as people want to whine and complain about Uzumaki's quality dropping, you know what? At least they committed to finishing it. They, in four episodes, even accepting compromises, understood the importance of not just pulling the plug on something, instead releasing it in whatever form they could and allowing people to make their decisions. Will it be something where once it finishes people, will people really fixate on that quality later if the story is well told? My hunch is they won't. And that's still a better result, even as I said, in something that is visually compromised and clearly not 100% of what they were aiming for. I'd rather support that than something that looks a million times better, but has next to zero assurance that it will actually cross the finish line. I can't stand it. It just bugs me top to bottom because it just undermines the value of what people put into these series. So Uzumaki, does it not look as great in the subsequent episodes after episode one? Yes. Will I still take it over most of the other stuff that's coming out? Absolutely. Later.